Hello, Governor Dane. You ever think about resigning? The reality, you keep saying that, you know, the chilling of the future. True for the future is right now, it's today, and it's tomorrow. Yesterday, the past, yes. The reality, you got billions of dollars, and you just don't want to give it back to the people somewhere. We understand we got to pay the taxes, we got to pay, you know, for highways and all that stuff, and for in construction, way you call it, you got paid for the fire department, the police, all that. We understand that. But we're building a capital office that we really never fucking did need. You're paying for that too? $300 million of that? And for you to give raises to your fucking flunkies? 85000 for each one of them? One got 85000 one got like 40 thousand. How can we pay for people who really don't do that much. You guys claim to do so much more than everybody else. The guy is doing the dishwashing, he makes a lot of maybe 10000 or 20000 if even that. That used to be high. But the reality, they don't get raises like that. No one does. You're not corporate. You're not your old dinking company anymore. That's gone. The reality because it's failed in the long run. It's sold out. But the reality, you're paying people money that is not yours. Should have gone back to the people. The people are struggling out here. They're fucking trying to feed the family, close their family. And in reality, then you stick more poverty on top of other poverty for Amnesty Seagate. And that's fine if you want those. But they don't work. In reality, if you don't like the laws that we create in the state and the federal, then change it. You know, vote it out. But the reality, you're failing this country too much. You said next year it's going to be a bigger surplus, so if they don't do what you want, you're going to veto everybody. That's a big threat. You and Obama should get together and go on bowling teams. You both suck. The reality, you both letting this country down. One talking about making a deal with a snake. A snake is a snake, no matter what you call them. They one day will nuke themselves. Cause we could have given them solar panels. We could have given them wind generator. We wouldn't harm anybody. We no one would get radiation poisoning. But we didn't do that. Obama didn't make no good deal, just like with the Chinese when he tried to make a deal over there. And they got like 25 more years before they got to control their pollution, which is stupid. This guy is a lame duck like you. You're raising taxes constantly, costing more people than they can afford. Most people don't get that kind of pay rate. The guys are trying to make his fucking rent and feed his kids and family. You failed. You're constantly failing this country, and it's sad to see that. People are starving right now in this day. And you bring more in, and you, you and Becky and Hodge and things so cute that you were in poverty. And you cry about the schools not having, you know, the right food. And put greenhouses on those schools so kids can learn to grow and be more responsible than you are. And not gouge your people. You bring down the price of things, and they will keep going. But the reality, there's no reason why we, got, we should take care of America first. We all should become first, and any country does it. Because the reality, we need to take care of our people here first. And quit worrying about everybody on the side. Boy, and we can help them out. Yeah, we can build greenhouses and teach them how to grow crops. We could destroy their land. We could fight in stupid wars. But the reality thing, you seem to little thing to be thinking on a five year old level. That's why you only can talk to kids, because you know adults don't get along with you. You don't get along with adults. You never got along with your family, it sounds like. But the reality, they were very smart people when they built their business. But the reality, you're gouging a Minnesota for get more tax when you don't need it. We understand we got to pay for certain things. But not oversized office billing and paying your people oversized raises. Most people don't get that raise. The guy washing the dishes, he doesn't get that. The guy who's cleaning the street, the guy who's doing maintenance, the guy who's doing computer programming. They don't get those kind of raises, and it's nonsense that you did that to these people. The reality, if we can bring down the cost of living, we don't have to keep raising things. Rents won't have to go way up. Food won't have to go way up. You're curtain it, because when the country collapses, and we have a new recession, which we will in time, I hope to God we never do, but I know we're gone, because you can only go so high in the place and they all crash it. Look at all the fucking like Italy, all those countries. They kept raising things, costing tax and tax. Look what happened there. It's going things gonna happen here. We got the deficits way too high and we know it and they know it too. Why do you think they're right? Like you're saying watching them, they never felt the bubble we did, the recession bubble. Because they kept collecting taxes still. And they're playing games and they give them some raises like you guys do, which you should not be the right to do that. 
what happened to came about the American people first and came about everything else last. But now all you seem to do is care about yourselves first and no one else. I mean, it's kind of sad when people at McDonald's crying for 15 bucks an hour, which they should maybe get. But the reality, it's going to cost you that burger to go to 25 bucks. <laughs> In reality, good luck. You can't afford to keep doing this. It's not going to work. It won't stand. You can't keep raising pricing, raising pricing. And then the guy, the landlord wants to raise his price and then the grocery guy raises his price. I'm back they ship so much food overseas that they thought it was a great deal. But then they just said a bushel of corn, seven bucks a bushel, went down to three fifty. But honestly, if it goes more high end, seven bucks, I wouldn't buy corn. I wouldn't buy any of that stuff. But yeah, I mean, you became creating a starving nation in America, which it never should have been. With all the farms we had, all the crop we were growing, it should never have been a starving nation. It should never be an employment nation. We should be the most industrial nation in the world, because we were. But the reality, you guys have done nothing but screw this nation up. And you bring in thousands of people from other countries and think that you're solving their problem. No, they need to learn to work in their own country. They need to learn how to build. And learn how to grow crops and be, be you know, adopted too. They can't. You can't take them all in the world. It doesn't work and never have worked. I mean, you look at some of those other countries, what did? It's not working. You guys talk about doing things and nothing ever get done. That means Democrat, Republican, Democrat, all independent, nothing getting done. We're having a lot of BS. I mean, I don't care about Donald Trump or whatever, but you reality, he's finally throwing a wrench in the mess because. You guys are not doing a goddamn thing. Nothing getting done in the state level, Holly. Nothing getting done in the federal level. But you should love giving yourself raising and living well. You got so many per diem. You pay for cell phones. We pay for your meals half the time. We pay for your car thing. It's ridiculous. But the no, average Joe guy trying to work and trying to feed his family can't feed his family because we stop over thing overseas thing. Oh, that's a great deal. We ship our corn to China. We ship our wheat to the world. But then we got cost us more because we got to pay ten times more, and we think that's a good deal. We're creating a recession, but we know we'll see in history. I mean, Obama always talk about the Great Depression. Well, we might be creating a better one than that, but we don't watch out. We need to take care of America first, and that includes you. Then maybe you should leave the office if you don't like it. If you don't like working with people, but the adult counts first, not the child. The children is up to the adults to raise decently and kindly. But the reality, they are the ones who pay the taxes, not the children. The money needs to go back to the people who did pay the taxes. And not yet you, Obama. I mean, damn. The reality, you keep kind of saying that it goes to the rich. It doesn't go to the rich. You guys are the ones creating the rich. You guys are becoming very rich. And you know it. You won't admit it. And Dean, you're not poor. You'll work about five or six million. I'm not sure. But the reality, you're one of the rich. But most people who work a job making 40 hours a week, making a low income pay, it's not good. We need to bring this country back to being a solid country for everybody, for all races, all creeds. And we need to make sure they all got jobs when I mean, they can't have it. I can tell you right now, you can end homelessness by next year almost, 99%. You can own, own hunger in this country by 99% if you do what I'm thinking. But you don't. You can end poverty totally in this country. But you can't bring a thousand until you fix the problem with the ones you got now. You need to make sure these people got jobs and you know, got home. You can't put one guy on top of the other. You bring one guy, he takes his job now and for less pay. So you keep bringing poverty down. I don't know if you guys do that deliberately. I think sometimes you do. If you can keep poverty, you always seem to be needed. If we kind of work together and we build more cities and more homes and more of that, we wouldn't need the government so much. But we know we got to do it. We know we got to take care of our roads, our highway, our police, our fire department. We need that. If people obey the law and be treat, treat each other nice and kind, we wouldn't need the law so much. Because we wouldn't need the law because we honestly know what we're supposed to do. But we don't. A lot of people are devious out there. A lot of people are good. So when the day one day we wake up and we see the real smell of coffee and see the real world where it is, and we respect each other of all creeds and all colors and all races, then we won't be needing the law anymore because we wouldn't need a law, but we don't, we all keep breaking the law. If you don't like laws, you change it. You know, I don't think my thing. That's the thing with you, Ding. If you don't like your job, maybe you should quit. 
Because reality, I know is that you seem to hate adults. You seem to hate people. You play on it. You get raised to the only people who work for you. They're the only good people who work so hard. They don't work that hard. I dealt with a lot of city people, and they don't work that hard. So dang, it may be time for you to grow up. Get spying. Get back the money that belongs to the people for that surplus comes up. We know it's going to be outrageous anyway. You're overcharging taxes. You're not giving it back to the people. It's time to give back to the people. Time to look for them and help them out. Goodbye.